Good morning. In the year of August 1999, I wrote a play and I called it Red December. And when my father was 13 years old, his father, Louis Rupert Erica, had died on December 27, 1941, while flying in a PBY Squadron 101, Wing 10, over the Hollow Islands on a bombing mission in the early beginning of World War II. I studied and found information and that is why I wrote my play for my father. During rehearsal, my mother Hilda sat and watched, and when it was over, I saw her crying, and she said to me that the play would affect the World War II generation. After the opening performance, Red December, he too, he started crying and I embraced him. And he was thinking about his father when he was only 13 years old while watching Red December of how his father died gloriously in the two weeks after Pearl Harbor in World War II. The scene opens in darkness with sounds of bombs exploding nearby. There are flashes of light from the impact. The lights are dim within the barracks, which is empty. Moments later, Incent Kilroy and two Marines burst in, carrying radio equipment, which is quickly set atop at a table at center stage. Move it! Move it! Stephen, grab it! Grab the table! Vincent, set up the shop as soon as the table's secure. The bombs continue to explode with the lights flashing. Goddamn Japs, they're, they're blowing the shit out of the whole base. Hurry up, Vincent, we've got to get transmissions up immediately. Is it, is it safe here, sir? We've no choice, the radio station's on fire and this is the nearest building. Aren't you up there yet, Benson? Nothing, sir. It may have been damaged. God damn it! Do what you can, but hurry! Another bomb blast is heard. I think I hear something, sir. Working on it. Keep working on it! Don't lose them! Another bomb blast is heard. PB... PY... PB... PBY1... PBY1 to base. PBY1 to base. Come in. Location three miles northeast of Holo Islands. Flight speed 125 at 12,000 feet. Fast approaching main objective. Over. Base to PBY leader. Do you read? I repeat, do you read? Affirmative. A little static, but we do read. Over. Parks. Parks. Is Squadron 101 intact? Affirmative. Affirmative. No enemy opposition. Low cloud cover. It appears to be breaking up ahead, though. Over. Once main objective is complete, continue to the Dutch Indies for friendly turf. Do you read? Loud and clear. What's going on? Over. We're being bombed. Base is not friendly. We're being bombed. Base is not friendly. Do you read? Affirmative. This will be our last transmission until you reach the Dutch Indies. If you take any... Son of... Thomas Milstein, stay sharp. Zero's lifting off. Schulze, chart our course. We're going in. Abort mission if zeros are lifting off. Do you read? Abort mission if zeros are lifting off. Do you read? Get ready, boys. We're going in on the heavy cruiser. PBY leader to squadron 101. Follow flight pattern and come on my tail. Drop packages and navigate to Dutch Indies. Abort mission. Abort. God damn it. Abort the goddamn mission. Over. Leader to base already committed. Zero's coming in tight. Thomas, four o'clock. Four o'clock. Zero's fast approaching. My gun's jammed, Chief. My gun, my gun's jammed, Chief. 
God damn it! Jesus Christ, it won't fire! It's it! Jesus Christ, Thomas, it's it! Milsey, what's going on back there? The son of a bitch has got Thomas, Chief! He's dead! God damn it! No! He's dead! Come and get it, you bastard! You rotten bastards! Milstein, you're bleeding! Let me take over! No, God damn it! They got Thomas! The rotten bastards got Thomas! Hold on, fellas! We're taking flak! Number one hit, Chief! We're losing fuel! Shit! It's flooding the goddamn belly of the ship! We need to put the fire out, Chief! Hold on! We're diving! Hazelton, get ready to drop our package. Yes, sir. We're going to break up, Chief. The ship's not used to the stress. We're going to break up, Chief. The ship's Base. like... Base, Base to, to break up, Chief. The ship's Base to flight, leader. To Base to flight. We've got, an, we've got no choice. We'll burn if we don't. Milstein, 3 o'clock. Coming in sharp and fast. I got him, Chief. I got him. I got him. I got him, Chief. For Thomas. Thomas, I got him. Damn it. This is PBY 11 to the base. Over. We read. Over. Flight leader down. Repeat. Flight leader down. Any survivors? Over. Negative. Took direct hit. All hell has broke loose. Heading for the cloud cover. Destination Dutch Indies. Over and out. Wouldn't you goddamn know it? As Kilroy takes the liberty to open up a letter, he begins to read its contents, slowly and with much emotion. As he does, one at a time, the crew of PBY walks down center to the stage's apron and salutes, wearing their dress whites. Kilroy and the others are oblivious to their presence. After saluting, each man moves to his bunk, sits down, takes off his hat, and lies upon his bunk with his hat covering his chest. Dear Dad, when I was cleaning out one of the closets, I, I found a shoe box filled with your letters. I thought you had forgotten me. But after reading half of them, I know now that it isn't so. I miss you, Dad. Mom said something about you coming home soon. Is that true? I sure hope so, Dad. Because I'm playing football now and I want you to see me play. I've told my buddies about you and I want them to see what a great guy you are. Hurry up. Hurry home. Hurry home, Dad, because I miss you. Your loving son, Lewis Parks. Kilroy slumps forward, still holding the letter as the lights begin to dim to black. <laughs>